What's going on boys? No guys here now. You thought it wasn't possible to get Ronaldo, Messi, Corona and Son. Four of the best players in the game in one team. Um, but I've done it. You know, I always, always find a solution. So let's get straight into this. So Corona now, before you come and kill me, I have to work out who's the best player to put in each position. So we've kept Ronaldo and Messi on full chemistry as a cam and a striker. So we put Corona here and then we put him off chemistry here. Now I know that Manafa card is, to be honest, that Manafa card is going to be hard to get, but Corona, five star, five star. But potentially, I mean, if it wasn't for his positioning, he might be better than Neymar, I would say, potentially. Um, just because he has that better shooting. Um, but five star, five star, high, medium, a really, really good card. Drops in sometimes, I don't really like, but I think he's a perfect winger. Probably top... Top, top seven wingers in the game, I would say. Now, you can get Manafa if you're here if you really want to. Um, we have gone ahead and put Wendell here. Um, we've gone with Inform Wendell. Now, of course, you don't have to get the Inform version. I mean, it's still, still under budget, but if you're a bit tight on the budget, you can go with, of course, just a normal Inform card. He's fine as it is. He's left foot anyway. Four-star skill moves. Just put a shadow on him. You'll be fine. Good drill team balance. I mean, if you want, you can put Manafa there if you want a Champions League card. Now... On the opposite side now, to get Messi in, he has to be again independent. That's why we've gone, of course, uh, with the 5-4-5-1. Uh, now, we've got Messi in for the reason as he's probably better than Neymar this year. Um, I've always traditionally put Neymar in front of Messi, and I probably still would. Um, but it's just the fact that Messi's got such good shooting. And even though the finesse shot meta has been nerfed, Messi's finesse shot at times. It kind of reminds me of like Messi or FIFA 20. And that's probably the best way I can describe him. So he's still a top ticker. Probably the best cam in the game. Four star, four star. Fantastic passing and shooting. Can do virtually everything on a pitch. Um, and to get him on chemistry, put him to Hakimi. So of course he gets 10 chemistry in this role. Um, Corona of course gets 7 on the other side. So Hakimi goes in. We're just going with the gold card here. Nothing too funky. So now we got the, the left and the right. Then we need to get the Ronaldo in. So Ronaldo needs to be on full chemistry. So... We wanted to get in, um, so the, the way I've done this is I wanted a top tier CDM as well. So it's all fine and dandy. Now, if you've got like a, a million coin team, maybe you get away with having a very, very good attack, maybe a mediocre midfield. But with two million, there's really no excuse. We've got Ronaldo, one of the best players in the game. Um, people don't like him this year, but he's still a top tier card. Um, probably still definitely one of the top tier cards. Put a hunter on him, you're pretty much good to go. Um, high, low, um, put a hunter on him, you're good to go, as I mentioned. And he's a perfect for a striker. Or you can in a 4-4-2, you can play Corona and Ronaldo in striker, or you can play Sun um, and Ronaldo. You can play Messi and Ronaldo. You can Ronaldo and Messi. You have basically free room to do whatever you want. And to go with the CDM, we've gone with Kante, not flashback Kante. That guy is a bit of a, I would say, a bit of a fraud to be honest. I wouldn't really go with the flashback card. I don't know if it's still active, but that card, um, just for the bit better pace, you lose too much on the aggression and the defending, the defensive awareness and interception. Some that you. Better you miss even the aggression you miss. Um, but the Kante's gold card is still on the best team. It doesn't matter what anyone else says, his positioning is 10 10, medium high work rates. Still to this day, um, I miss Kante um, just because he's so good. We Kante's one of those players where when you have him, he's not really the likes of Vieira, so you, you kind of feel like he misses something. But when you don't have him, you're like, man, if Kante was only there, um, but alongside him, we got one of the best center mids in the game. That's heavily dropped down in price. That is Bruno Fernandes. Uh, put a shadow on him or a hunter. If you want him more defensive, you put a shadow on him. If you want him to be more offensive, you put a hunter on him. I think one of the best cards, center mids in the game. High, high, perfect work rates. Three star weak foot nerf, but you put a shadow on him. Really good defense stats. You can play with Kante. So in a 4 4 2, you got Messi, Ronaldo, Son up front, and you got Bruno Fernandes and Kante in the middle. Long term, you can upgrade this guy. But if you want, you can get Pogba here instead. It doesn't ruin chemistry because Ronaldo still gets a 10. So you want to, you can get Pogba there. Um, but I would say just go ahead and get Bruno Fernandes. Now, Sun goes in the middle. So Sun will get seven chemistry. That's completely fine. Now, um, people are going to say put someone else here. Don't listen to them. Listen, realistically, there's no one else better than Sun. Um, for the money, there's literally no one in the game that's better than Sun. Um, for 100k right now, Sun is the best card in a game up to, I would say... Probably 500k maybe. Um, even then is doubting whether the Neymar is actually better than Sun. Yes, um, Neymar has a bit better dribbling. Um, but Sun with the 4-star, 5-star. He likes the 5-star skill moves, of course. Um, but of course, he's got that much better finishing. 
But ultimately, shot power and finishing probably one of the most important things. Again, no sleep, just had an exam this morning. That was a shambles, but we'll go for that for another day. So excuse me on that, but Sun, of course, he goes in over there in the centre mid position. Um, so Sun gets seven, Corona gets seven. Now, when it comes to defensive line, I normally go with. If you want, you can do Romero and Varane or v- Virgil van Dijk and um, and Varane. But you think I'm going to do that? Absolutely not. I'm not going to do that at all. Um, we're going to be going with fullbacks. Um, first of all, we're going to go with Walker. Um, I put a guard on him, but just put an anchor on him. He's completely fine. One of the best. In my opinion, I would say cont- potentially the top 10 centre-backs in the game, if you actually know how to use him. He does like the agility and balance. That's probably the only thing with him. But apart from that, with a Guardian on 7 chemistry, he's more than good. We go to Ramba Saka, I would say top 7 centre-backs in the game. Um, of course, I'm, I'm defining them all together. I mean, I would put Ramba Saka over VVD. Um, only people that understand what I'm talking about will know. But the Jill team balance on Wan Bissaka, given the fact that he's medium high work rate, six foot already with amazing stand and interceptions, he's already a top tier card. I put a shadow on him, but feel free to put an anchor on him because I like to get that pace boost up as well. And then when we go over to the goalkeeper, we go with Edison, the goalkeeper that I prefer the most. You can go with any goalkeeper here in the Premier League because Wan Bissaka, they still get the green link, of course, um, to Walker. So you can technically, in theory, you can put anyone there um, as long as there's a Premier League, of course, goalkeeper. It's completely fine. So you want to use Pope, of course, be my guest. So we're talking about chemistry-wise. Chemistry, everyone here you can see is 98 chemistry. So you can probably get to 100 if you just move some players around. If you get Varane and Virgil van Dijk here, you get 100 chemistry. Or you just get one of these guys to put just put like Varane here and that kind of solves the issue. It does take it just a tad bit over budget if you really, really want to put Varane there. But of course you can and get the 100 chemistry. Otherwise 99, 98 chemistry makes no difference. Mexican manager, 7 chemistry, 7 chemistry, 10, 10. As I mentioned. Um, so we're going to talk about how we'll play this in game. So if we are going to be playing the 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, a second variation. I think realistically. A tough one. Personal preference, I would say. Hmm. Personal preference, I would probably go with this. Um, yes, Sun is a really, really good card, but maybe I'd relegate him there, or maybe I'd actually even do this, um, just because I prefer the better shooting. But if you prefer the five-star skill moves, then Corona is definitely the card for you to go up front. Um, because Corona drops deep, sometimes it might work well as a midfielder, actually, on get forward. So that could be the last minute again, making that decisive run in last minute. Uh, if we go over to um, the 4 2 3 one, which I think which is where the formation will really excel, uh, Ronaldo, Striker, and Messi can. But again, if you want to, you can swap these guys. But if you find that, okay, this is the best layout in my opinion. But let's say, for example, you find, okay, you know what? I like Messi on the right for the finesse shots. I like Ronaldo on the left because of his pace and his strength. Then you can do that as well. You can feel free to swap these guys any way you want. You kind of have free roam with it. That's kind of the benefit of having a top tier team is that you kind of have the free roam. Here, the exact same thing. You can do the exact same thing again like this. And you could decide for Sun or Corona. And then if we go over to... Uh, three five, but the four four two is basically self-explanatory. <laughs> Anyone can play there. You know, any single player can play there. Personal preference, mm, I would probably, probably go with this. Maybe even this. Maybe even this. Um, it just depends on how I play the four four two. If I was being really aggro, I'd put Messi as the right wing because I normally be very aggressive with my strikers. Sometimes I like the best shooters up front and we're talking about the three five two this is it gets where it gets problematic you gotta make a decision again who do you offload here so what I would say is put Hakimi there put him there put Wendell drop him as a as the left back put Wambasak in the middle because Wambasak has got the best GL team balance so though he hasn't got the fastest of pace the best GL team balance and the way that I will do it is oh, a tough one again really tough one maybe Sun just on a wing just because he's got that jill team balance, but definitely Messi goes either strike or cam. Um, but again, sport for choice really. Two million coin team, probably the best two million coin team to get the best four attackers in a game. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, and of course, I'll catch you next time. Peace out.